Hi guys, welcome back again to my YouTube channel. Guys, today's video, uh, we are going to show you guys Sarah on Instagram Live, guys, um, doing her cook and here talk about a TV show, guys. And she also uh, spent a lot of time here, guys, talking about the show, talking some things here, guys, why she's cooking. And you can see here the cook looks so good, like some of her fans said on the comment section, guys. All right, without say wasting much time, let's uh, keep watching. Please make sure you subscribe. Today is your first time. Hit the red button there. Subscribe and um, share this video as well for more updates because we are going to be updating you guys. All right. Have a wonderful day. Thanks. Everything has just been working in my favor. I'm so excited. Like, I just said, God know how to set you up. He know how to, like, remove, you know? I feel like this year, God has been doing, a, this year and last year, it has been a lot because God has been doing a lot of detoxing. But sometimes you just got to let God do what he going to do and get out of the way. And that's what I've been doing. And I swear, everything has just been coming together i am so excited what's glitching what's wrong with it my thing glitching on um let me make sure my wi-fi on it's my wi-fi it look like my wi-fi is on hold on wait oh it's on all right so yeah so we got our turkey chops we doing smothered smothered turkey chops we doing um my cabbages. I kind of already prepped everything because I know when I do soul food mania, we um I kind of be chopping up stuff and y'all be like, okay, Sierra. So I got my cabbages chopped up over here to the side, clean. I'm glitching. Am I still glitching? TikTok? Am I glitching? Tell her to pull her hair back. Okay, cool. Cool, simple. I'm gonna wash my hands real quick. Am I still glitching? No. So I'm going to need like a, I'm going to need like a co-shelf. I'm going to need like a lot of different stuff, right? Um, I'm going to need, yeah, the pot. All right, so with these mother turkey chops, they real simple. I'm going to start chopping up all my stuff I'm going to need for my, um, I'm going to start chopping up all of my veggies and stuff that I'm going to need for my smothered cabbages. So, I got my shrimp. Whenever I do whatever recipe I do, I always go for the big colossal shrimp. Well, they these are like just the big shrimp. These are not like the colossal bigger. But I do like, um, I do like wild caught, whatever I get. When you are making your cabbages. Especially with the smothered cabbages, you don't want your veggies to be too small. You want them to be kind of, you want the, you know, you want it to be like a nice size dice when you cutting it up, so that with the flavor, you get, you taste everything. So it's like a cabbage blend almost. I don't know if you want to call them smothered cabbages. It's like a cabbage blend. You want to cut them up dice size. But a nice size like this, like that size. You see, they not that, um, they're not that small. And you want to do that with your red and green, with your red and green. What is this bell pepper? A nice size. Trina, did you get those addresses I sent to you yes, the other day? Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep, so like this size. Pay attention, y'all know I always say, trust the uh, the process. Who been the kitchen police? Cause y'all know I cannot stand no damn kitchen police. House is probably funky as hell. House is probably too funky. Food ain't got no season on it, honey. Let people just come in, talk all in the kitchen. Everything is nice and clean over here. No, I don't have on gloves. Yes, you know, it's just giving. I'm cooking in my own house. 
I'm not doing all that. All right, so we are going to chop this up good. Y'all got y'all wine and stuff? Happy, what's today? Tuesday, right? Or Monday? Tuesday. Tuesday. This week, I'm already going by fast. I've been, y'all listen. Y'all know I had my first performance. I performed with, um, well, who was all on the lineup? It was Boosty. It was Skilla Baby. Trina. Huncho. And for everybody that's on Love and Hip Hop that's saying I'm not a real artist, it's like, huh, huh. Like, other than Spice, I ain't really seen nobody really get no no bookings with like no real rappers like that. So everybody need you to leave me alone and let God work. Let God do what he gonna do. I don't wanna hear it. I don't wanna hear it. My music must sound good enough cause baby, I got my real, my first real booking. So you got your red and green. Ah! Can y'all see me? Y'all got your red and green um, bell peppers. I'm going to rinse this off because it was a little bit on that meat. Y'all know y'all like crop contamination. Yeah, because they've been bothering me. I feel like the whole show been bothering me this, this season. But y'all know one thing about me. I don't care about standing alone. Don't care. Do not. But, you know, it is what it is. I feel like sometimes it's always giving pick me. I feel like I'm so sweet and I'm so nice that people just be, it be giving pick me for storylines a lot. But it's cool because you got your right one. Because, bitch, we're going to go back and forth. I'm a Gemini to the end of time. So, let's go. Let's go, 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 get it. Oh, Rich Homie Quinn was there, too. He did a good job. The show, you know, and I feel like I'm I'm, I'm going to do a song release because I feel like y'all need to learn my song. I haven't really released it for y'all to really learn my, my music. So, yeah, I'm going to do a song release. But this coming up August, get into it, y'all. Y'all got to get ready because y'all will be able to come in. And get y'all ghetto. Um, now, Rich Homie Corn was like, so that how can her fans be haters for telling her to pull her hair back? No, I don't think y'all haters. I just think we cousins. And my my first of all, I don't have fans. I have supporters. And um, y'all just be looking out. Y'all see how y'all see my? Oh, y'all can't even see my cabinet. I was about to see y'all see how this ghetto girl eats in my cabinet. Y'all see it. Y'all see it. I don't. I don't need a place. But I just feel like most of the time we just be talking, kicking it. Y'all don't be, y'all don't be hanging. Y'all be giving y'all advice. My, I really, I really have like real conversations. I really kick it with my following. So wait, oh, this text mix. This is my new season. Have y'all tasted the text mix? Super good. It's one of my new ones. Y'all gotta try it. Do y'all got y'all Soul Food Mania book? Do I need to do a, um, everybody a part of Soul Food Mania? I thought last week we got, we went in with the price drop. If y'all need my Soul Food Mania cookbook, say I need. Let me see who I need it. Real simple to making, to making my, uh, turkey chop. Let me see y'all say I need, y'all need my Soul Food Mania. Somebody said, I got, yes, girl. I see so many people. Why am I watching you on live and watching you on TV? Because, girl, God is good. God is amazing. If y'all need my new cookbook, say I need, so I can do a price drop so we all can get in there. I haven't seen y'all since Thursday. We've been cooking our ass off. But over the weekend, I've seen so many people using a cookbook. Y'all got to make sure y'all continue to tag me so I can repose. Get them turkey chops. The flavor got to be flavoring. Y'all know what Ghetto Girl Eats seasoning. I love, love, love the support of my Ghetto Girl Eats seasoning. The way y'all ordering and book, y'all y'all literally, y'all don't play about y'all Ghetto Girl Eats seasoning. 
And I love that for us. I love that for the fam. All right, so you just want to get it in there real good. Real good. Like, really, really good. Do not forget that olive oil part. It keep the meat real um, juicy. And then y'all see how I put a couple drops of hot sauce. Thank me later. Get into it. First of all, Get A Girl Eat Seasoning is very herby. It's very, very herby. It's very herby. Can y'all see that? It's really herby. I need that. Let's, I'm going to grab it. Cook it's very <clears throat> seasoning is so good you could definitely put it on anything yes thank y'all love how y'all go hard for ghetto girl eats like such a blessing my grandma would be so proud um and everybody was fake as fuck for not checking on you yeah it's cool though it's cool people was on there talking about oh she didn't come to my to my um she didn't come to my my party. I'm like, girl, first of all, they on there lying their motherfucking ass off. And secondly, y'all know, like, I be supporting my everybody music. I be just, I'm just like, I'm not, okay, let me say, I'm not a person that go out a whole lot. I don't. Y'all know I'm in the house. I always be cooking with y'all. Somebody said text mix is the shit. Y'all like text mix too? Thank you, Dre. Dre said that season go crazy. I don't know what my friend problem was. I really had to call him like off camera and be like, look, bitch, we're not doing this because we've been friends for so long. We're not doing this. Like, we're not doing this for no motherfucking TV, bitch. I'm just, we just not doing it. Like, I'm not doing it. I'm not fake beefing with nobody. But my whole thing is, I just feel like I try my best to support and I try my best to keep everybody together. I see y'all buying a cookbook, but wait a minute. Y'all know I always keep it a book with y'all. Wait a minute, because I'm going to do a price drop. Somebody just spent $170-something. I know y'all bought seasons. I ain't even. I couldn't see exactly what it was. But with the, um, I just washed my hands with soap. So now we're going to come in with our shrimp. And this is for the cabbages. I'm going to come in with my own everything spicy. And I'm going to season my shrimp. But yeah, I just feel like people are just doing being fake as fuck. And it just let me know where people stand with me. You know what I'm saying? Because I am so nice. And I'm always trying to. Now, I'm not saying I'm perfect. Because y'all know I be on my Gemini shit so much. But for the most part, I stay out of the way. I be in the house. I don't club. I don't go out like that. So my form of hanging and being friends is like come to my house. And that, that's something that I probably could work on. Like. People probably don't always want to come to my house. But for the people that were saying, like, I didn't check on her in the hospital because she didn't come to my party. Like, bitch, a party and almost about to lose your fucking life is two separate, totally separate things. Like, get a grip. Get a fucking grip, okay? If somebody talking about they didn't come check on me in a hospital because i missed a party that they never had it's fucking weird it's fuck fun and like it just let me know that because y'all know i call my my cast members on love and hip-hop my dysfunctional family and i love them people i can't even lie i do my husband be like my fiance husband boyfriend whatever he be like you really love them like you i do I do. We've been together. They've been part of my life for a long time. So the people that came and showed me love in the hospital, thank you. The people that didn't, that's fine too. It's just let me know. It's still not F you. Because sometimes family could be weird. It's still not F you. Uh, what? Is she cool? She looks sick. How the fuck I look sick? I rebuke that. I ain't shit wrong with me. I'm okay. Y'all just be saying anything. Let me tell y'all something for new people that's coming on this live. We're a family. And we talk shit every now and then. We do. We talk shit. We do. We talk little shit. But we don't be on all that crazy stuff. Like, I just looked up and seen it, sis. I ain't even try to read that coming. I just looked up and seen it. We don't be on all that. We be having fun. We be vibing for the most part. 
and we be having we be it be by I need a little a little Kroger bag train. I'm gonna Kroger bag down there because that's how you really cook your anything fried. If you don't cook it in a a, a shopping bag, then I don't trust it. Um, yeah. So I'm gonna do my price drops different today because I had a lot of people from last week saying, "Sierra, do the price drop before you start cooking." I be at work on break. I be doing this. I be doing that. So I'm gonna do my price drop. Um, before, but we about to we need some. Um, I need two. I need some uh flour. I'm gonna show y'all how to flour these bad boys up. While well, I'm flouring, cause y'all know how to flour. Y'all can go and get y'all stuff. We had a good. We had such a good time last week. Like, if we started Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, we went all the way to Thursday. We doing soul food mania for those that don't know for the next ninety days. I'll be cooking a different, um, yes, yeah, the, the, the pop-up. I'm so ready for the pop-up. So that means we doing soul food mania inside of a real restaurant. Y'all get to come really eat these turkey wings, this mother chicken, these turkey chops, like, every, like whatever we cooking, y'all get to come in and eat it with me for real in real life. I can't, I can't worry. Okay. That's the good. That's that's what I use to make my biscuit. Oh. That's the that's the good luxury flour. You need to go. You gotta go back hood when you when you frying your stuff. So you gonna you gonna get that. Um, what is this? White lilies. White lilies. White lilies. White lilies. Somebody said, "Hey, Trina." You all, they said, hey, you always holding me down. No, I love my Trina Bell, baby. Can't nobody mess, mess with her. I can mess with her, but can't nobody else mess with her. But, um, yeah, so, last week, y'all know, like, for, oh, oh, wait, wait. So, for those that don't know about Soul Food Mania, what we doing is, for the next 90 days, we will be cooking Soul Food so that when the holidays come up, Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's, um, what else I said? Valentine's Day, whatever come up, y'all already have it down pat. Y'all already know how to cook y'all food. Y'all ain't got to hire no chef. We're going to put all these in here. Y'all ain't got to hire no chef. Y'all already have it down pat. Remember, 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 y'all. Make sure y'all look at y'all cookbook. And make sure y'all go by the measurements. For those that was reposting their food, I was like, look at them. They doing exactly what the cookbook says. It's important to do exactly what the cookbook says. Somebody said, it's not flavorful at all. No, I do not season my flour. That ghetto girl eats. You do not need. I, honestly, I never season my flour. Never, ever, ever. Never, ever, ever season my flour. Um, the other day, what did I make? But I cooked from the Ghetto Girl Eat cookbook. I think I made shrimp fried rice. I made something. So everybody was saying, do a price drop on the Ghetto Girl Eat. So for those that don't know, the Ghetto Girl Eat cookbook, it should be evenly coated. See, it ain't evenly coated. You got to go back in there for another shape. Um, it should be evenly coated. The Soul Food Mania cookbook, we cook in a different soul food dish at least two to three times out of the week. You get your menu. If you buy the soul food book, you automatically become a part of the soul food game for the next 30 days. You get your cookbook. Um, do we still got some more chopboards? Trina? Yes. Okay. So I'm gonna do another bundle deal on the chopboards. I thought we sold out because almost sold out. We right? almost Trina yeah. Trina said we almost sold out. She was at the warehouse today. She, she said we almost sold out. Make sure these bad boys are evenly. Flour evenly. They got to have that crisp on the every side. Evenly coated. Make sure they real, they coat it real nice. I don't like to shake my, people like to shake theirs. I don't shake mine because I be liking mine real crispy. See how it's missing a spot on this one? We not rushing the process because we are not missing a spot. But, um. Please subscribe.